uh, good afternoon or good morning or uh, whenever you're watching this video. Um, I just wanted to show a few things I've been working on. I've been trying to get into turkey hunting a little bit. I, I went a few times last year um, and it's been pretty fun but I decided I want to try to make my own calls, these pop calls. And they're fairly easy to make if you have a lathe. Um, they, they at least resemble turkey calls. I'm trying to get them to sound right, but um, here's a few I made. This one's a uh, it's a Brazilian cherry pot with it's a pecan soundboard and uh, glass playing surface. Um, this one actually broke. That's a pecan soundboard. That's cedar pot and uh, glass playing surface. Then I started getting into using some slate. This is a. Uh, I actually really like the way this one looks. It's really tiny. It's only a two and a half inch call, but um, it's a spalted pecan pot. And the reason it's the smallest is because I really, I just really like this piece of wood, and that was the. Um, it's pretty much the only size I could get out of it. But anyways, it's a slate over glass. Um, and then here's the my newest one. It's actually a three and a half inch surface. This is pretty typical. Um, it's also spalted pecan, but it's not uh, it's not as colorful as the other one, but it's still a nice, pretty nice looking call. So, but um, I just wanted to see if I could actually get these to sound, uh, just kind of play on them a little bit and maybe get some feedback and see if they even sound halfway decent, um, just to kind of gauge what I'm doing. I uh, don't claim to be an expert at all, I'm pretty new to this, but... Uh, I can at least get these to make a noise, so that's uh, that's one good thing. Oh, that, over here I've got some strikers. This one in the middle is just a one I bought from Academy, Triple Seven Primos, and then I made this one, which I don't like it asymmetrical, but um, that's Coca Bolo and pine on top, and then this is uh, Coca Bolo on top, and that's a piece of pecan for the shaft. Now I turn these also on the lathe. Um, but let me play my, the one that actually sounds decent just to see um, maybe if you give me some feedback on what it sounds like. And this is the Cocobolo striker. Um, I'm sorry, this is the pecan striker with the Cocobolo top. And this is the three and a half inch playing surface, the last one I showed you with the spalted pecan um, pot. Here it goes, at least what I'm attempting to do. So that's the one that I actually think sounds um, maybe like a turkey, and that was this combo right here. Um, that pot and the striker. Um, just in case you're interested in what a really small sound, uh, small call sounds like, I'm going to play this one for you. This doesn't sound anything like a turkey, I don't think, but uh, it's really high pitch, and may, you know it may be useful for something one day, but we'll see. This is the same striker. But there's that. Uh, uh, yeah, there's a couple, but uh, I just wanted to go uh, see what you think. Um, mainly, I want to see if this one sounds good. This is the best one I think I've made so far. Um, so, yeah, if you don't mind, I, I'd love to hear your feedback and just to see um, kind of if I'm on the right track with what I'm doing. But, yeah, the reason to make, I can make one in about two hours. Uh, start to finish, but I mean, I gotta. Yeah, you, you glue the uh, playing surface and the soundboard on, so I have to let that set for about a day. But besides that, most of the work's done in about two hours. But I'm gonna keep playing around, keep experimenting. It's uh, it's actually been a lot of fun. But uh, if you don't mind, just give me some feedback and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.